All right, hello and welcome to the news update on VOB TV. I'm Moses Humphrey. The Senate will today screen the acting governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Olayemi Kadoso, for confirmation into a substantive capacity alongside four nominees for the positions of CBN deputy governors to steer affairs of the Apex Bank in the next five years. The Red Chamber, which is returning from its two-month annual vacation, has also scheduled the screening of two additional ministerial nominees by President Bola Tinubu for Tuesday, October 3, 2023. The media office of the Senate leader, Senator Okbayemi Bamidele, disclosed this in a statement yesterday evening, while the National Assembly was on break. The president appointed the duo of Jamila Ibrahim and Ayodele Olawande as Minister of Youths and Minister of State for Youths, respectively. Tinubu also approved the nomination of Kadoso as the new governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, pending his confirmation by the Senate. Last week, Kadoso resumed as the CBN governor in an acting capacity, pending his screening and expected confirmation by the Senate. The Nigeria Labour Congress has accused the federal government of delaying the negotiations on post-subsidy palliatives for workers four months after the removal of the fuel subsidy, which has compounded the hardship in the country. In response to the perceived lethargy of the government, the organized labor will today hold an emergency National Executive Council meeting where it will take decisions on its next steps. The NEC comprises all presidents, general secretaries, treasurers of all NLC affiliate unions, state chair chairpersons, and secretaries of the NLC state councils, chairperson of the NLC youth committee, and members of the National Administrative Council. The labor union had earlier embarked on a two-day warning strike on September 5 and 6 in readiness for an indefinite strike to press home its demands. The 21-day ultimatum issued by the Congress expired last Friday, and the union consequently scheduled an emergency meeting at its neck for today. Members of the Trade Union Congress yesterday stormed the Lagos State House of Assembly to express their displeasure over the state government's alleged ban and disbandment of the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria in the state. The national president of TUC, Festus Osifo, who led the union members in the protest, said the union had a pact with the state government when the RTEAN was created from the TUC. The TEC Secretary General, Comrade Nuhu Toro, who corroborated Osifo's stance, added that the state government had promised the workers some packages, but to date, these packages have not been received. He employed the state government to live up to its word and keep with its promises. The Assembly's Deputy Majority Leader, Adida Mola Kasumu, who received the union on behalf of the Speaker, Mudashiro Basa, commended the leadership of the TUC for the peaceful protest to the House. Ka Kasumu assured the union that the message they had delivered would be forwarded to the, to the Speaker, just as he assured them that they would hear from the leadership of the House soon. Perez Medcare Hospital, where Mobad was allegedly taken, has released a statement concerning the singer's death. In the statement shared on its Instagram page yesterday night, the hospital stated that the singer was brought in dead at the hospital. The hospital also debunked rumors that the singer was admitted to the hospital. Well, the federal government has declared Wednesday, September 27, as a public holiday. This is to mark the Eid al Malud celebration and the birth of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. The announcement was made in a statement yesterday by the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Interior, Oluwa Toyin Akinlade. She noted that the Minister of Interior, Dr. Olubumi Tunji Ojo, urged Nigerians to be tolerant. The star actor of one of Walia Denuga production series of the Superstory, Chief Yemi Adeyemi, a.k.a. Suara, is dead. Well, notably, uh, theatre practitioners, academic and critic Dr. Shaibu Husseini, 
announced his death yesterday. Dr. Husseini noted that Chief Adeyemi passed away on Sunday, September 24. Chief Adeyemi became popular for his role as Suara, who was paired with veteran sizzling actress Shola Shubawale for her role as Tony Tomato. The cause of the actor's death is yet to be announced by the family members. In foreign news, no fewer than eight persons have died and two have gone missing in Mexico after heavy rain turned a mountain stream into a torrent of muddy flood water that swept away villages. The bodies of some victims were reported to have been found several miles downstream from where they were from where they disappeared near Otlan in the western state of Jalisco. Juan Verastegua, a local civil protection official, stated that the deforestation and the fire earlier this year caused significant damage to the wooded area and could have contributed to the flash flooding. Dozens of rescue workers were deployed in the area to search for the missing. But Mexico is regularly hit by flooding and tropical storms. Scientists say that climate change is increasing the risk of heavy rain because warmer air holds more moisture. And that's the news update on VOP TV. We'd like you to subscribe and engage us on YouTube. It's Voice of the People TV. And on other social media channels, we are at VOP TV Live. I'm Moses Humphrey. Good morning.